the Y. After the border towns, Tehran became the bomber's main target. Together with the other people in our building, we turned the basement into a shelter. Every time the siren rang out, everyone would run downstairs. Put your cigarette out. They say that the glow of a cigarette is the easiest thing to see from the sky. But we're in the basement here. And once it was over, well, well, no one's answering. I'm fine. Oh, those poor people. Lucky nothing happened to you. He wants to talk to you. After the bombs and the instinctive fear of death, you'd think of the victims and another kind of anxiety seized you. It wasn't just the basements. The interior of homes also changed. But it wasn't only because of the Iraqi planes. Mom, what are you doing? The masking tape is to protect against flying glass during a bombing, and the black curtains are to protect us from our neighbors. What neighbors? Across the street. They're totally devoted to the new regime. A glimpse of what goes in our house would be enough for them to denounce us. You know Tanoush's dad? Tanoush, yeah. What about him? The other night, two guardians of the revolution patrols paid them a visit. Someone told us you were planning a party. You know that's strictly forbidden. Um, they found records and, a, and video cassettes at their place. A deck of cards, a chess set, and in other words, everything that's banned. Get your ass in the car. Move. Excuse me, sir. Shut up, slut. It earned him 75 lashes. His wife cried so much that they finally let her off with a hefty fine. But he can't walk anymore. Now you see why I'm putting up the curtains. With the parties we have on Thursdays and the card games on Mondays, we have to be careful. In spite of all the dangers, the parties went on. Quote, without them, it wouldn't be psychologically bearable, some said. Without parties, we might as well just bury ourselves now, added the others. My uncles invited us to the, his house. My uncle invited us to his house to celebrate the birth of my cousin. Everyone was there. Even Grandma was dancing. Damn, power outage. Be careful where you step. Aw, no more music. Don't worry about it. I'll go get the Zarb. The Zarb is a kind of drum. My father played it very well. Like a pro. We had everything. Well, everything that was forbidden. Even alcohol. Gallons of it. My uncle was the vintner. He had a built he had built a genuine wine making lab in his basement. Mrs. Nazarene, who was also his cleaning lady, crushed the grapes. God forbid me, God forbid me. Suddenly sirens started to wail. And my aunt did too. Ah, it's all right. Stay calm. I found myself with the newborn baby we had been celebrating in my arms. Her mother had already abandoned her. Since that day, I've had doubts about the so-called, quote, maternal instinct. After the alert, we went home. She's completely nuts. Did you see how she dropped the baby? That was pretty incredible. My poor brother isn't exactly spoiled. Halt! Halt! Open the door and get out. ID, registration, and driver's license. Okay, okay. Go ah. Ah. Uh, been drinking, haven't we? No, absolutely not. You think I'm stupid? I can tell about your tie. Piece of westernized trash. I won't take that from you. For 20 years I've worked for this country, and you dare to talk to me like that? Forgive him. Forgive him. Shut up. Forgive him. Listen, I could be your mother. 
How are, how old are you? Sixteen? My daughter is twelve. Forgive him. You're lucky to have this woman for your wife. Otherwise, you'd already be in hell. Thanks. Thanks so much. You say you haven't been drinking. We're going to see what you have at home. Grandma, Margie, when we're home, get out first. We'll try to stall him. Flush all the alcohol down the toilet. But how? Don't worry, dear. I'm used to it. When your father was alive, I was always hiding his tracks. They followed us all the way home. You must really come upstairs? Our elderly neighbor has a heart condition. If he's frightened by the noise, it could kill him. Hurry up. Where do you think you're go you two are going? I have diabetes, my boy. If I don't drink a little syrup, I'm going to faint. Diabetes, just like my mother. So you understand it's urgent. Go ahead. It was a miracle. Hurry up. I don't know how much longer your father can stall them. Hurry, hurry. And the final touch? Click. Here they come. Where's the guy? Where indeed? Their faith has nothing to do with ideology. A few bills were all he needed to forget the whole thing. Hey, you didn't throw it all out. Yep. No more? Nope. My God. I need a pick-me-up.